hello welcome to the second episode of Android tutorial in this episode we are going to learn about how to working with multiple activities in the same application so in the previous application which is an hello world application we have only one activity but you can have more than one activity on the same application <coughs> so in this episode I'm going to show you how to working with more than one activity on the same project so here I'm going to add two more activities so I already told you each activity is associated with two file first one is an XML file that will handle the GUI part and second one is a Java class file that will handle the logic of the application so for each if, if you want to act, add a new activity you have to add two file first one is an XML file and second one is a Java class file so first here I'm going to add a new Java class file so right click the pie cage and select the new option and select Java class and here I name the class as second class second activity click OK now we have a new class in our package called second activity now we have to create a new layout for the new activity so right click the layout folder and select new option and choose layout resource file okay so here I name the file as second layout always use small letters because it represent an XML file is a layout file so always use small case letter so I name the file as second layout it is of linear layout and click OK now we got a new layout inside the layout folder now we have to connect the newly created layout and the newly created class file so open the newly created Java class so this class represent an activity so we have to extends activity so here you need to override some lifecycle method of activity you have to override the on create method so here I am going to override the on create method now we have to connect the new Java class and the layout file so you have to use a you have to call a method called set content view and now the layout file is available on the layout folder so use the resources r dot it is available on the layout folder so select layout and the layout file name is second layout okay now we create a new activity uh, we add a new Java class and we add a new uh, XML file layout file and we connect that layout file with the Java class so now here I am going to add one more activity so again create a new Java class and I name the class as dead activity dead activity and click OK now we have to create layout file for the activity so create new and select layout resource file and I name the layout as third layout and click OK now we got a new layout in the layout folder with the name third layout now we have to connect the newly created layout with the class file so open the class file this represent an activity so extends activity now we have to override the on create method and connect with the layout so call the method set content view r dot layout dot the layout name is third layout okay now we add two new activities to this application and if you add a new activity if you add a new activity into your application you have to register the newly created activity inside an XML file called Android manifest 
.xml file. So open the manifest folder and open the android manifest.xml file. You have to register all the newly created activity inside this xml file. So for registering this, inside the application tag create a new tag called activity and specify the activity name. You have to specify the class name and put a dot operator before the class name. The newly created activities are second activity and third activity. I register the first activity so android name is equal to second activity. Now close the tag. Okay, now we have to add one more. The third activity. And instead of second activity it is third activity. Third activity. Okay. Now we created another two activities and we register the newly created activity with the android manifest.xml file. Now we have to invoke these two activities so go to the main layout file which is first layout. So we have already a button in the layout file go to the xml version and I change the text of the button. First I change the text of the button. Open. Yeah. Open. First. First activity. So whenever user click this button we have to open the first activity. Uh, now we have to create another button. I copy this button and paste it here. Okay, now we have to change the text. Here is the second button and change the text into open second. Sorry, I changed this into first first text into open second activity. Open second activity and change the last button text into open third activity because the first activity is the main activity. Okay. So we change, we create two buttons on the XML file. First activity, uh, we have added two buttons. Whenever user click the first button, we have to open the first, uh, we have to open the second activity. And when user click the open third activity button, we have to open the third activity. Okay, and we use the same on click method for these two buttons. The on click method is show greetings. We use the same method for these two buttons. Okay, so now we have to call the, uh, we have to invoke the newly created activities. For that, go to the on click method. The on click method is show greetings. This is the on click method for the two buttons. So I remove all the code inside this. Okay, so if the button text is equal to open second activity, we have to we have to invoke the second activity. If the button text is open third activity, we have to invoke the third activity. That is the logic. So I copy this one. I create a string here, string button text, and button text equal to first we have to find out which button is clicked by the user whether if it is uh, open second activity or open third activity so we have to find out it first so for that we get the text on the button from this object from this view object so it represent a button So typecast this object into button. It is view dot call the method get text and convert that one into string. Okay. So by executing this statement, we will get the text on the button in this variable called the button text. So now we have to check it out using if loop. So I, I start on if loop. If this one button text dot equals 
if it is equal to open second activity we have to call the second activity and else if if it is equal to open third activity we have to invoke the third activity and else if button text dot equals open third activity in that case we have to invoke the third activity that is our target okay so in android you have to create an object of intent to start a new activity so the intent class is responsible for uh, invoking a new activity in Android. So here I am going to create an object of intent. I name it as intent equal to new intent. Here you have to provide two arguments. First one is a context object. I put it as this because the activity is a subclass of context class. So I name it as this. Now we have to specify the class name for the activity. So the second activity class name is second activity. So I name it as dot second activity. That is the class name. And specify the extension dot class. Why this is yeah, second activity dot class this one now we have to start the activity so you have to call a method called start activity and pass the indent object so if you sir click the open second activity button it will invoke the it will open up the second activity and if you sir click the open third activity button in that case we have to create the indent object with, with the third activity okay now we complete all the coding now we can test the application so now I am going to run the application okay now the application is available on the virtual device now I am going to click the first button open second activity yeah this will open the second activity but there is no view components on the second activity we have to add that one uh, so go to the second activity layout file which one uh, go to the second layout file and here I am going to add a text view we have to identify whether it is the second one or not so here I am going to add a text view with some message welcome to second activity ok now again go to the third layout third activity layout here also I am going to add a larger text view so select the larger text view and change the text into welcome to date welcome to date activity okay again now we can run the application I run the application again okay now again I am going to click the first button open second activity yeah now it's open the second activity welcome to the second activity click bike button now I click the open third activity it will open the third activity now this is how we working with multiple activity on a same Android application I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.